In the previous video you have already learned that precipitation in a drainage basin ensures that the river can drain the water. The size of a river's water discharge is called the volumetric flow rate. You can calculate this as follows. The Rhine is 300 meters wide and 5 meters deep at the border between the Netherlands and Germany. The water flows 1.5 meters per second. So every second 300 times 5 times 1.5 is 2250 cubic meters is removed. This is written as a discharge of 2250 cubic meters per second and corresponds to a discharge of 2.25 million liters per second. This is therefore approximately the average water discharge from the Rhine and is called the volumetric flow rate. The distribution of the water discharge over the year is called the river regime. There are different types of regimes dependent on the variability of the discharge throughout the year. At the Rhine the flow in summer is lower due to evaporation and because there is more vegetation in the catchment area that uses water. There is hardly any variation in precipitation in the drainage basin during the year. In other rivers it is important that large changes in the flow rate can occur due to precipitation changes, for example due to the presence of a rainy season because the area is influenced by the intertropical convergence zone. A long rainfall season or drought in the drainage basin can cause a temporary deviation from the regime. The water level can then be much higher or lower than expected. After heavy rainfall in a drainage basin, the water is drained to the river. The water level in the river is therefore much higher. The moment when the water discharge is highest is called the peak discharge. We can also display this in a graph where the precipitation falls at the beginning. After a while the water level in the river rises. Then the peak discharge is reached and then the water level drops again. The time between precipitation and peak discharge is called the lag time. Peak discharge and lag time are central to understanding floods. This is because if a river's catchment area is adjusted, peak discharge and lag time also change. Imagine in the drainage basin there is a lot of vegetation and few cities. The water that falls as rainfall is absorbed by the vegetation and is retained by the soil. The landscape holds the water like a sponge, which decreases the chances of a flooding. The surface in the basin can also change. For example, deforestation and urban expansion ensure that the precipitation is not retained but flows directly to the river. Because the water enters the river much faster than when there is a lot of vegetation in the drainage basin, the lag time is short. There is little time between the moment of precipitation and the peak discharge. The peak discharge is also getting a lot higher. All the water ends up in the river at the same time, which means that the peak discharge is higher, which increases the risk of flooding. Another effect is that of canalization. By building more and more channels, the water is drained more quickly towards the river. This also increases peak discharge. Thus, changes in land use in the river basin have an impact on flood risk. In the catchment area, water is less and less retained due to changes in land use. This causes the peak discharge to increase after a period of heavy rainfall. This is a problem especially in winter because, as we have already seen, the water level has already increased. So you have learned that the risk of floodings of the Rhine is highest in winter. The following video explains the measures to prevent floodings.